Perhaps no product is more embedded in the history of American culture than Coca-Cola. That history has been cultivated, protected, and curated here in an unmarked basement room at company headquarters, a repository that's been off limits to TV cameras until now. The artwork is incredible. Since 1977, Phil Mooney has been Coca-Cola's official historian, the keeper of the memorabilia. A trip with him through the archives is a lesson in how powerful marketing can turn something as simple as a soda into an icon. So how many pieces do you think you have down here? There are hundreds of thousands of pieces in this collection. Uh, you start thinking about things like print ads, uh, individual bottles and cans. Those are thousands of items all by themselves. How much is it worth? Well, we have it on our, our books for about $60 million. But, $60 uh, million. And that's without the deposit returns. Here you can see how Coke intertwined itself with Americana, capturing the public's affection and their wallets. To get its name in front of everyone, Coke put its name on everything, from illustrated calendars and pens to pocket mirrors. Well-known artists of the day, including Norman Rockwell, were commissioned to paint its ads. And a campaign featuring Santa Claus in his trademark red and white costume, coincidentally Coke's colors, led to a common question. You know, one of the questions we get every Christmas season is the question about, is it true that Coca-Cola invented Santa Claus? And is I think, it? No, it, it is not true. You hesitate and, a little bit. <laughs> well, well, only because I think what we, what we can get credit for is sort of creating the modern image of Santa Claus. We were trying to, to create an advertising campaign that would get Coca-Cola associated with the holidays. And we started to think about Santa Claus. Well, here's a guy. He's going to go all over the world in 24 hours. He's got to be thirsty in the course of that evening. So let him have a Coca-Cola. 